Hey everyone, it's Megan here from Megan Makes Do, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the Dagny Square, which is part of the Traveling Afghans project. For this square, you're going to need about 75 yards of Lion Brand Woolies yarn and a size J six millimeter crochet hook. Um, the one I'm using is a boy hook. Okay, so to get started, we're gonna start by making a magic loop. I like to wrap it around and then pull it through with my hook and then I kind of pinch where it comes together. Um, grab my working yarn and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna chain two, which does not count as a stitch. Now we're gonna be working the rest of our stitches for round one into the magic circle. So we're going to be working 12 double crochet into the circle. And again, the chains at the beginning of our rounds during this pattern will not count as a stitch. And just so you know, um, you can find the free pattern for the Dagny Square on my blog at meganmakesdo.com. I'll put a link in the description below, as well as a link to all of the materials um, and to the main page for the traveling Afghans. So we're almost done. We've almost made our 12 double crochet, and this is round one of our Dagny Square. And then once you've gotten your 12 double crochet made, I always like to double count to make sure, we're going to pull on the end of our magic loop and pull tight to close it. And then we are going to slip stitch to the top of the very first double crochet that we made to join. So this is what you'll have at the end of round one. Um, we're going to start out with a circle. So to do round two, we're going to chain one, which does not count as a stitch. And we're going to be working right back into the stitch that we joined into. And we're going to be working two half double crochet into the same stitch as the join and into each stitch all the way around. So two half double crochet into each stitch around and that will complete round two. Okay, so we've gotten into our last two stitches for round two, which is two half double crochet into that last stitch. And then we are going to slip stitch into the top of our first half double crochet of that round for a total of 24 stitches. So you can see that we still have a circle right now. For round three, we're going to be working into the third loop only. So these stitches behind um, our original stitches that you see. There's a third loop made by the half double crochet. Those are the stitches we're gonna be working into. So for round three, we are going to chain two and we are going to work two double crochet again into that third loop in the same stitch as our join. So find that third loop of our same stitch as our join and work two double crochet into that third loop. Then we're going to chain one, skip the next third loop, so the next stitch, and work a double crochet into the next stitch. Again, we're working all of our stitches into the third loop, and we're working two double crochet into that next third loop stitch. Chaining one, skipping one, and again, working two double crochet into the next stitch and again into that third loop. So chain one, skip one, and then work two double crochet into the next third loop stitch. And we're gonna be doing this all the way around. So again, just make sure that you're always working into that third loop Okay, so we've gotten to the end of round three. I've chained one, I've skipped one, and now I'm going to be working two double crochet into the next stitch 
and again into that third loop. Then I chain one, skip the last stitch, and I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch to the top of the first stitch I made first double crochet. So you can see that you can see the circle. It's a little bit more prominent now. Um, and for round four, we're actually going to be starting to turn our circle into a hexagon. So for round four, we're going to chain one and we're going to work a half double crochet into the same stitch as the join and into the next stitch, another half double crochet. So now we have this chain one space and this is gonna become our first corner. And what we're gonna do is we're going to work a corner which is a half double crochet, chain two, and another half double crochet right back into that same chain one space. And that's how we're gonna make our corners in this round. So now we're gonna again work half double crochet in the next two stitches. And we're going to work a half double crochet into the next chain one space. Then half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And now in this next chain one space, we're going to work another corner, which again is a half double crochet, chain two, and half double crochet into that same chain one space. And as you can see, we're going to, we see the first two corners, we're gonna repeat that all the way around to complete our hexagon. So at the end, you should have six corners total. Okay, so we've gotten to the end of round four and I'm working my last corner in this last chain one space. And then I'm going to work a half double crochet into the next two stitches and one last half double crochet into the last chain one space. Then I'm going to slip stitch to the top of my first half double crochet to join. And now we've turned our circle into a hexagon. And you can see it here. We've got our six sides and our six corners. So for round five, we are going to be again be working into the third loop of each stitch. So I'm going to chain one, single crochet into the third loop, same one as our join, single crochet into the next three stitches and see this last one is right here. And then I'm going to be working a corner and this time I'm actually gonna be working the corner into the chain two space. And this time our corners are gonna be a single crochet, chain two, and again, single crochet right back into that chain two space. And then looking towards the back, we're going to be working single crochets all the way across into the third loop only. And so we should have seven single crochets going across this side. And again, we're gonna be working into those third loops until we get to the corner. And then once we wanna make our corner, we're gonna start working into the chain two space. And again, work a single crochet, chain two, and another single crochet into that chain two space. And then again, working in the third loops, we're going to be single crocheting all the way across. And you will have seven single crochet on each side, and then a single crochet, chain two single crochet into each corner. And we're just going to repeat that all the way around until we get to our very last corner. So here we are working the last corner of round five. And then again, working into those third loops, we're going to single crochet over the next three stitches to complete round five. 
and then again slip stitch to the first single crochet stitch of round five to join okay so you can see that we're making our hexagon a little bit more prominent by working into those third loops we're making those stitches kind of pop out so we're going to be working again in a hexagon shape so for round six we're going to be chaining three this counts as our initial chain and then as one stitch so we're actually going to skip working into the same stitch as our join and we're going to work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches then we're going to chain one skip one and work a double crochet into the last stitch of that side now we're going to be working a corner stitch into the chain two space which will be a double crochet chain two and then another double crochet into the same chain two space so then along this side we're going to be working one double crochet into that first stitch of that side we're going to chain one skip the next stitch and then work two double crochet so one double crochet in each of the next two stitches then we're going to chain one again skip the next stitch and again work a double crochet into each of the next two stitches then chain one again skip a stitch and work one double crochet into the last stitch of that side and then we'll be ready to work our next corner which again is a double crochet chain two double crochet back into that same chain two space and we're going to be working that corner and side stitches all the way around our hexagon until we get to this last corner again okay so here we are at our last corner we're going to work a double crochet chain two and another double crochet into that chain two space and then we're going to work a double crochet into the next stitch chain one skip one and then work two double crochet And then to end our round, we're actually going to be slip stitching into that third chain that we started with at the very beginning. So here's what you'll have at the end of round six. Okay, so for round seven, we're actually going to start turning our hexagon back into a circle. Um, so we're going to be working a bunch of different stitches for this round. So we're going to start with a chain two, and then we're going to work three double crochet into the same stitch as our join then we're going to chain two skip the next two stitches and we're going to be working into that chain one space and we're going to work one half double crochet into that chain one space then we're going to chain two again skip two and we're gonna work a single crochet into the chain two space that was our corner of our hexagon. Then we're gonna chain two again, skip two again, and work a half double crochet into the next chain one space. Chain two, skip two, and we're gonna be working three double crochet into the next chain one space. One, two, three. Then we're gonna chain two, skip two, work a half double crochet into the chain one space, chain two, skip two, and work a single crochet into the chain two space that was our corner. And we're gonna continue to repeat that all the way around our hexagon, and you'll notice that we're kind of rounding out our sides to make a circle. So now we're working that last single crochet stitch into the chain two space, chaining two, skipping two, working a half double crochet in the next chain one space, chaining two, skipping two, and then going ahead and slip stitching to the top of that first double crochet to join. So that'll be the end of round seven, and you'll see that we have more of a circle shape now. 
Um, and for round eight, we're going to be working into all of our stitches and all of those chain two spaces that we have. And we're going to be working all half double crochets. So chain one, half double crochet into the first stitch, our join stitch, and half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And then we're going to work two half double crochet into that chain two space. So there's one and two then half double crochet into the next stitch and work two half double crochet into the chain two space. Then half double crochet into the next stitch and two half double crochet into the chain two space. Half double crochet into the next stitch and work two half double crochet into that next chain two space. And then we're gonna work a half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. And we're just gonna keep doing that all the way around our whole circle. So here we are towards the end. We're working two half double crochet into that last chain two space. And now a half double crochet into the next stitch and two half double crochet into the chain two space. And then we're going to slip stitch to the first half double crochet to join. And that will finish off round eight. So now you can see that we have more of a circle here and we've got our half double crochets going all the way around. So for the next couple rounds, we're gonna be squaring off our circle. And again, for round nine, we're gonna be working only in the third loop all the way around. Okay, so for round nine, we're gonna chain one and then work a single crochet into the same stitch as our join and in the next stitch, and again, we're doing these stitches into the third loop. Then we're going to be working four half double crochets across the next four stitches. So one half double crochet in each of the next four stitches, again, working into the third loop. And then we're gonna be working four double crochet stitches. Okay, so now we're getting ready to make one of our corners to make it a square. So first we're gonna work one treble crochet, again into the third loop, and then we're gonna work a corner, which is going to be a treble crochet, chain two, and another treble crochet back into that same stitch. And again, all of these stitches are going to be in the third loop. Then we're gonna be working down this side and we're gonna start with a treble crochet and then we're gonna double crochet for four, two, three, and four. Then we're going to work half double crochet for four, two, three, four, then we're gonna single crochet two, and then we're gonna again half double crochet four, and double crochet four, And then we're gonna do one treble crochet. And then we're gonna work another corner. So you're going to repeat that all the way around. You're gonna work a corner and then work those same sequence of stitches all the way across. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna turn our square, our circle into a square. 
So again, going down that side after our corner, we're going to work one treble crochet. Then we're going to work four double crochet. Then we're going to work four half double crochet. Two single crochet, then four half double crochet, then four double crochet, and then one treble crochet. And again, we're going to repeat that all the way around to complete round nine and turn our circle into a square. Okay, so now I'm gonna slip stitch to the top of the first single crochet to join to complete our round nine. And we're gonna to continue to build up our corners to make it more squarish with this next round. So round 10, we chain one, we single crochet into the same stitch as our join and into the next five stitches. Then we're going to half double crochet for three stitches. And then we're going to double crochet for three stitches. And this will bring us to our corner stitch or the chain two space. And then we're gonna work a corner, again, working into the chain two space. We're going to work a double crochet, chain two, double crochet back into that same chain two space. And now we're gonna be working along the side again. And again, we're gonna be building up those stitches more towards the corner. So we're gonna start with three double crochet. And then work three half double crochet. And then we're gonna work 10 single crochet. And then again, we're going to work three half double crochet. And another three double crochet. And then we're gonna work another corner stitch, which again is a double crochet, chain two, double crochet, all into that same chain two space. So then we're going to continue to repeat that sequence all the way around finishing our square. Okay, so here I am, I'm going to work my last few single crochet stitches And then I'm gonna slip stitch to the top of the first single crochet to join. And that completes round 10. Okay, so now for this next one, we're just basically gonna be single crocheting all the way across and then working a single crochet corner. So chain one, single crochet into the same stitch as your join and into each stitch all the way down until you hit that first chain two space. Okay. 
Okay, and then we're going to work a corner stitch, which is going to be a single crochet, chain two, and single crochet all into that same chain two space. And then again, we're going to single crochet into each stitch all the way across until our next corner. So yes, you're going to single crochet across to each corner, work a corner stitch into each corner, and do that all the way around, and then slip stitch to the top of the first stitch to join. So then, once you're done, you're going to probably want to block your piece. So I just use um, a phone mat and some pins, and I lay my piece down, and I make sure that when I'm pinning it down, I know that it is 10 inches across, and I measure both ways so I know that it's accurate. And then once you have it pinned in place, you can just either steam it or spray it with water and let it dry, and you'll be done. Um, you can find the complete written pattern on my website at meganmanxdo.com, as well as links to all of the other traveling Afghan squares.